The pitter patter of little footsteps is a welcome sound in any household, but children grow by leaps and bounds. Bronzing baby shoes is one way to preserve the memory of those first steps. The tradition was started back in the 1930s, and it grew in baby steps. In these shoes, a child learned to stand on his own two feet. His baby shoes have joined a pile of others. They're all about to be preserved forever. They record information about the shoe's owners, including personal details for engraving. They assign a tracking number to each pair. Without it, some shoes might not find their way back to their owners. They stamp that number onto insoles. There's a special coating on the insoles that will prevent the metal plating from sticking to them, so this number will be visible throughout processing. They staple down the insoles and then dip the shoes in a special formula. It chemically seals them and will also help stiffen them as they dry later. But first, they hang them to allow excess liquid to drip off. They stuff each shoe with plastic to give it some shape. They push a rolled plastic form into each shoe to complete the shaping. They tie the laces, positioning the bows flat against the shoes so they won't break off during the rest of the process. As an extra precaution, they wrap a rubber band around each bow and then glue it down. With the shaping plastic removed and the shoes dried and stiffened, they drill holes into the bottom of the soles. This will allow them to be hung on prongs during plating later. But before that happens, they stir up a mix of water, copper and other ingredients. They carefully submerge a rack full of baby shoes into the coppery liquid. This isn't the final coating, it's a key preparation step. It makes the shoes electrically conductive so that they can be electroplated. They hang the shoes to dry and dribble a little more of the liquid onto them to cover any bare spots. They allow the finish to dry for a couple of days. Then a worker lowers them into the electroplating tank. An electrical current runs through the shoes, attracting copper in the tank to plate them. Using a special polishing wheel, they lightly scratch the bright copper finish on the shoes. This prepares them for the next step. They spray a black finish onto the shoes and then wipe it off, rubbing some into the crevices to give them an antique appearance. Next, they spray them with a protective lacquer. You can still see the identification number clearly on the insole so they haven't lost track of the owner. I guess it's one of ours. They attach the engraving plate onto a wood base and screw the shoes onto it. Now they won't be going anywhere except down memory lane. And it seems there's no end to the bronzed keepsakes that can also take you there. From cowboy boots to burgers on a bun.